In today's lesson, we will be learning on troubleshooting a common voltmeter and ammeter connection problem. Sometimes though you have connected your voltmeter in parallel to a component, you don't get a reading. Instead of deflecting right to register a reading over here, the needle of the meter actually deflects left. Okay, so it actually goes this way and it doesn't register a reading and you can't read anything out of it. Too long didn't read solution? If you ever encounter this situation where you connect to this uh, component and it gives you a negative reading or a reading below zero, what you simply need to do is just to swap the wires. What do I mean? It means that you take this wire and you connect to the negative part. You take this blue wire and you connect to the positive part. So you just do a wire swap and you should be able to get reading. The same thing for emitter, if you connect in series correctly, but yet you get a negative reading where the needle goes here, what you need to do is take this red wire that's connected negative, connect to the positive side, and take the wire, purple wire, and you connect to the negative side. So you do a swap, and you should be able to get a reading. Okay, the long but Why does it work? It is because students do not we know or remember what does the red or the black connection on the meter means. Okay, these two. They thought that the meters actually uh, have a positive and negative terminal, which is similar to a battery. If we want to connect batteries to the series, we, we usually connect the positive terminal to one of one battery to the negative terminal of the next battery. So this is the positive terminal, this is the negative terminal. If you want to connect another battery, this connect to a negative, to a positive, and so on. Which is actually correct. So students often apply this rule when connecting to emitter and voltmeter. So what they do is that they see this as positive, this is negative. So what they will do is that the positive will connect to a negative, then you connect the rest up. Unfortunately, this is incorrect as the negative and positive sign on the meter are not uh, representative of the terminals. They are simply just reminders to connect to the correct terminals of the battery, which means that the positive terminal should be connected to the positive and the negative terminal should be connected to the negative. That's what is meant. So this is what, how it works. The same uh, components. The negative side terminal connect to a negative and then after that you just connect up accordingly. And this is the way that you should be connected in your emitter if you encounter something like that. For more complex circuit with multiple components, okay, but the rules will still hold. The positive terminal side of the battery to the positive connection sign on the meter and the negative terminal or side of the battery to the negative connection sign on the meter. Okay, we will use a simulation to illustrate. Okay, this is the circuit that we are going to use it as a simulation, a demonstration. So the top part of the battery is the positive side and the bottom part of the battery is the negative side. So following the same rule, if we want to find the top resistor, so the red, which is the positive side end, should be at the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal naturally will be over here and you register the value. Similarly, for the bottom resistor over, over here, you need to connect to the negative terminal to the negative side and the positive terminal over the uh, will be naturally here. You will register the value. If you do a swap, what will happen is that the voltmeter will register a negative value, which is what the meter is trying to do. Okay, just accept that there's no negative value registered for that. What about this two, which is a side? Okay, what you need to do is to recognize that the top is actually on the positive side. So you place the red wire, which is a positive, over at the top, and the black wire at the bottom you should register a value. Or, same thing, if you want to find the bottom side, 
just place the negatives, the uh, black to the negative side and the red to the positive side. Okay, which is on the positive side of the uh, resistor. Okay, so that's how you correctly use your voltmeter and emitter. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.